going on, producers? We're back. I got all of the tracks in and pitched them up, I bust them together, put some effects on. And now, just like in my last video, I showed you guys uh, using the FPC to, you know, score out your drums. And that's what we're going to do here. Alright, I'm going to replace these drum sounds and then we'll come back and see what we got. Alright producers, so this is how our drum pattern sounds right now and I put the bass in. And so since this sounds pretty good, I think the only thing I would really want to do is, um, to me, from what I'm hearing, I don't think this drum pattern 
would sound very good going through the whole track the same way. So we're going to fix that real quick. We have uh, our pattern essentially copied over. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to change the snare to a simple 2-4 snare. And we're going to change our hi-hats. So the original hi-hat pattern is pretty, actually pretty good. I don't think will last, but here's what we're going to do. We're going to make it so that the hi-hats will be able to open the actual verse section. So if we muted these. I also have a rose pulled up that we're going to figure out. But first, let's get this part done. So. We're gonna have it play like this, and it should be able to, you know, carry this verse section at least to start it off. This set of hi hats isn't super velocity sensitive, so we might change it. actually do. I'm going to pull up a, another set of hi-hats from the FPC. Let's do uh, the jazz kit. Jazz kit's usually pretty good. Let's actually pitch it up too also. I'm going to take our snare. We're just going to take this to a half hi-hat. Let's turn it down a little bit. All right, so it'll just go like that to introduce the verse. We'll have it go for four measures. Next thing we're going to do is I'm going to pull up a, a rim shot. So give me a sec. All right. So I got our rim shot pulled up here. So we're just going to copy the snare pattern. Actually delete the delete the snare pattern. So we'll have it actually playing like this through the verse. Just for some variation, because I know I talked about in my last video having dynamic changes in the track but uh let's get to the roads it shouldn't be too hard let's just to start strum these out
that's gonna be our verse pattern for the uh, verse. I don't think we'll actually have it play in the uh, chorus section. We also aren't gonna bring back a lot of these during the verse. Let's see. I do want to add some things to the chorus, so so let's actually add a new pattern here. Going to bring the MIDI over there as well. All right, so I got my instruments picked up. Let's see. So I got the synth leads. Yo, so I picked out a couple of instruments, probably too many. We'll see which ones fit. I got uh, two synth leads. I actually picked out a timpani sound, a French horn, and then a trombone sound because I don't know. I feel like those would level up how big and epic this feels. So let's see how these fit. So for the trombones, I already know. are definitely going to have to get turned down, but th this is essentially what I wanted them to do. So let's copy that over and uh, make the change that we'll need. Let's just put that on. That sounds fine. We'll actually just copy that onto the timpani sound. Move that up an octave. Let's get the French horn sound. I'm not exactly sure what I want the French horn to do. I just know I wanted a French horn. I, do I need a French horn? Absolutely not. Let me tell you that right now. As you can probably hear, there's not exactly enough space for this, but like, that could be fixed with mixing, but as a general rule of thumb, if it sounds like it doesn't fit, or there's too much going on, there's too much going on and it doesn't fit, I don't recommend fighting to mix extra elements in if you really don't need them, which In this case, I think it's worth arguing that we really don't need these, but 
I'm greedy. Let's take that extra note out. I'll be straight with you on this section. I really don't think we're going to be able to, to put the uh, two leads in there. So what I will do is Charles, so this one sounds kind of awful. I'm going to use it anyways. Though. Take that up an octave and see if this doesn't just kill us. Do that again. Okay, I think that'll be our lead sounds. Now let's split these. <clears throat> let's split these up and uh, finish actually arranging it. Sure, I don't have any extra for when uh when it splits. I also brought in the uh, reverse symbol and the uh, drum fill and also a chime. Which I also think I need to pitch this up. Let me turn down the uh, reverse symbol too. I 
think what I'll do also do is uh, merge these drum patterns so that when I split them. So I, by the way, you do that with Control G to merge your drum patterns. So when I split them, I don't have a whole bunch of channels. It'll just be these. We cut this one. Awesome. Right here, let's do a drum pill. Even though we're not going to use the snare, we'll still do the fill with the snare. I think that'd make it a uh, Maybe more surprising, you know, because they'll hear it in the the opening fill, but then think, oh, but that's not the snare drum now. So let's all get one of the ghost kicks. It might be a little faster to just program this in the piano roll, but um, I don't always like doing that. I don't like making a whole bunch of unique patterns all the time. I think about it. The hi hat essentially right here tells us what the rhythm should be. Because we have the the uh kick pattern change at the end let's just get the last four bars from the first pattern as you can see it's missing something so let's go that in Not really just take this. Right here, let's go back to these two. To signal that this is ending. Bringing the French horn over here. Also, need to bring in our bass. Let's cut out the uh, French horn right there as well. I'll leave the timpani for only there. Maybe the bass double comes out. Let's try bringing in the uh, organ as well. We'll have one hit of the crash. It would be nice if that was on time, wouldn't it? Let's 
Let's bring back the brass with the organ solo. And right here, we'll cut these off. Let's even remove the violin from the... Uh, Cut everything off right there. And uh, maybe we'll even bring back a lot of the elements for the very ending part. Just to really signal that, uh, or to have like a big impact and let them know that we're hitting like the you know, peak or whatever. <laughs> Cannot forget to have our reverse symbol. We also grab our drum fill. One thing I've also been doing recently is taking my reverse symbol, having it lead up to when my drums come back in. All right, that's our arrangement. Let's listen and see what we have. You just drag these over to for the uh, intro. All right, let's see what we got. That's the video for now. Hope you guys enjoyed. Comment down what you guys want to see below or if you have any suggestions. And I'll see you guys next time.